Today we pick up our Bible study in Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33. Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33 is a Bible passage that everyone should memorize. As Jesus states, quoting from the New King James Version, Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. In the Holman Christian Standard Bible, Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33 is translated, Therefore, everyone who will acknowledge me before men, I will also acknowledge him before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny him before my Father in heaven. The New International Version translates Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33 as, Whoever acknowledges me before others, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever disowns me before others, I will disown before my Father in heaven. The English Standard Version translates Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 through 33. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. And the King James Version translates Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever deny, shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. This is a promise that if we do not confess Jesus as our Savior publicly, then Jesus will not confess us to his Father in heaven. The word publicly may have caught your attention, but the truth is if you're confessing privately, then to whom are you confessing? To confess something to no one is not confession, as the very definition of confess is to let others know or become aware of something. The fear of confessing Jesus is to hide one's salvation in Christ Jesus as if being saved by God's grace is embarrassing. This is not the proper attitude of celebrating the most important decision that each of us will ever make in our lives. We should proclaim an excitement of the love of God for us as we now are able to truly experience the filling of God's Holy Spirit within our hearts, minds, souls, and our lives that is made new through our faith in Him. Celebrate your salvation in Christ Jesus today by telling someone about it. Praise the Lord for the gift of salvation that He offers to us all in Christ Jesus. Jesus died publicly for our sins. The least we can do for him is to proclaim it publicly to others. Dear Lord, we are not ashamed of our salvation in Christ Jesus, and we do not fear the ways of this world, as we know that you are in control and will bless us for our proclamation of our salvation in the gift you give us in Christ Jesus. Please give us courage and strength in the excitement of our salvation that we would gladly tell others of your great love for us and for them. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.